Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make a car using the Circular Gravity Force package. Uh, Circular Gravity Force is out on the Unity Asset Store um, and you can check it out in the links and descriptions below. Anyway, let's jump into this. So let's go ahead and go to um, Scenes, Prototypes, Empty Scene. And we'll go ahead and make our car in, in this kind of playground area. Okay, so let's go ahead and we need a car. So let's go ahead and go to Assets, Prefabs, 3D and car and we'll just go ahead and drag that one and we'll just kind of put it over here and I can kind of show you guys how this is rigged up right now so if I switch it so the camera's looking this way and I play you'll notice that the wheels are actually pivoted to the frame of the car um, and that's just basically using um, Unity's uh, uh, hinge joints. So basically I'm using hinge joints and pinning it to the car and that's just kind of how that's rigged up right now. So for now what I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do is let's just make it so that we want um, using physics we want to move the car um, uh, basically. So we'll go ahead and move the car over here that way we can kind of edit it. I'll move it up here so we can kind of move around. And we'll focus on it here. So essentially what we want to do is we want to make it so that um, uh, each the wheels actually turn using torque um, and this is really easy to do you basically just say um, we want to make a torque object basically to um, make it so that these wheels spin so let's go up to tools circular gravity force 3 wizard and then let's make it make sure the type is 3d um, we'll have the size 5 um, force power let's put it uh, let's put it at 15 and we want to set the shape of it to a ray cast and then we want to s make sure that the uh, force type is torque and then uh, maximum angular velocity we want it maybe 15 and uh, force mode type uh, we'll just have it force and we'll create the object and all right, so we made we basically made a line. Um, that's basically what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that the um, each wheel is touching this line, so that way it's applying torque to it. So anything touching this line is so you see how there's an arrow pointing downward. That means anything that's in this arrow is going to spin downward. Um, so what we want to do is we want to rotate um, our prefab that we just made, and we'll just go ahead and do it this way and now we want to align it with our tires um, so I'm going to kind of go into um, a 2D mode here so I can make sure that we're kind of all lined up to the tires so I moved it right there and then let's switch it over this way and then we want to move it kind of this way and then I'll put it kind of out of 2D <coughs> excuse me so now you can see that um, this line is touching both of those wheels and that means that anything that's touching that line is going to apply torque, positive torque, um, to the car. Um, so another thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that um, this circular gravity um, object is also bound or also parented to the frame of the car. So that way like, well for example if I grab the car right now and I move it around you'll notice that it's not tied to the, this, this isn't moving around with it so we want to parent it to it. So we just drag that over under the frame of the car so now if I drag, if I move the car around, it's parented correctly. So that way, um, when we're moving the car around, it'll it'll stay with the car. Um, so I'll move this kind of down here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and face the camera this way. Um, just Control-Shift-F to focus. And then we'll hit play. And you should see two tires kind of rotating around. So we'll probably just start driving around in circles. Anyway, so you can kind of see that it's just kind of um, doing just those two wheels, and that's as, it's that's about as easy as it gets. So let's go ahead and we'll make another object. Well, actually, so we want to make it so that these are tied up to controls. So we want to make it sure that we want to make it so that when we press forward, it drives the car forward. If we drive backwards, then it drives backwards. So we want to we're going to go ahead and select our our circular gravity force object. We're going to go to add component, and we're going to type in key. And then we're going to select, um, actually, no, not key, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and type axis. And we want to have an axis controller. So that way um, we use the um, vertical um, controls when we're setting this up. So 
we're going to want to make sure that we're going to do controls for the force um, force basically so the idle value will be zero so that means when we're not pressing any buttons it's just going the force power is going to be zero um, but we're going to want to set up one controller for here so we just hit one for making a controller and we're going to type in vertical so that way I press up and down um, it's going to drive the car forward and backwards so let's type in vertical and we want the press value to be five so keep in mind these these override the force power here um, and you'll probably you can probably see that when we're playing um, essentially when I press forward and backward it's going to use five as um, the axis value so if I hit backwards it's going to be negative five if I hit forward it's going to be positive five if I hit nothing it's going to be zero so let's go ahead and hit play here and let's go ahead and click this uh, the gizmo um, icon up here so that we, we can actually see what we're doing and we're just only tied to two wheels right now but you'll you'll kinda get the idea when I hit forward and backward so if I hit forward it kinda rolls forward hit backward it kinda rolls backwards and we just only have it on one side right now so now we want to hook up the other side of the car so let's go ahead and just select our circular gravity object here and let's duplicate it and we'll move it over to the other two tires and make sure that they're they're the lines touching both tires and that's that's one thing that's essential is you want to make sure that your your line is actually touching the objects you want to affect so if I hit play here so if I hit forward it rolls forward hit backwards it rolls backwards let's kind of move it let's move it over here so we can kind of have some fun with it um, let's maybe put it up on top of here oh, let's move the camera so that it's kind of facing the car uh, actually let's just move it down here that way we can kind of roll up and down the ramp with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and face my camera. So I'm going to select camera and then focus that. Hit play. So then kind of roll up the hill. So now what we want to do is we want to make it so that if we hit left and right um, it turns the vehicle. So what we want to do here is we want to select um, uh, one of them here and then we want to add another um, uh, another controller here so let's go ahead and select add to here and we're gonna want to add a horizontal um, a horizontal control so let's type in horizontal and we want to just apply um, the same thing five to it so um, if I hit five if I hit uh, right then it's gonna then it's gonna turn the vehicle right and if I hit left it's gonna turn the vehicle left so we have it hooked up for one side. Let's go ahead and hook it up for the other. And we'll add another controller for horizontal and type in horizontal. And we're going to want this negative five. So that way it's kind of flipped. So that way if I'm um, hitting left and right, it kind of flips them around. And let's go ahead and hit play. So you can see that one side is positive and then one side is negative. And you know, let's go ahead and make it so that um, these values are a little bit more powerful. Let's make it so that um, the turn value or the force power is, oh, I actually have these at five. We want these at 15. So let's turn this to 15. It'll make the car a lot more powerful. I don't know why I had it set to five. It's a really weak car. <laughs> and then hit play here. There we go, and much faster. So kind of drive up. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much all you got to do. So you can kind of see what you, what you can kind of do with this. You can pretty much invent anything that you want to out of um, just kind of physics objects. And one thing that's really beneficial about this is you don't have to touch any code basically to do this kind of stuff. Um, you can just kind of make your own stuff. Anyway, yeah, um, check out links in the descriptions below if you, um, if you want any of this. Um, but anyway, you guys have a good one.